Hello guys and uh, welcome back to my channel. Uh, I know I haven't posted anything for a while and uh, the reason is a happy one. Uh, three months ago I got a son and well I do love him. He does take a lot of time so I've been kind of busy with that. So anyway I bought this uh, hydraulic press a while back and uh, I'd been looking at hydraulic presses for a while and uh, never got around to buying one but then I needed to uh, change wheel bearing on one of my motorcycles and it it uh, so happened that the presses were on sale, so I uh, ordered this one. This, uh, I think 50 ton is more than I'll ever need, but I need the width, so with this big one I can put a motorcycle wheel up here without any problem. Uh, this has a hydraulic cylinder, obviously, and it can be moved sideways. I usually just hand pump it like this, but it also has a, a pneumatic cylinder here, so I can uh, attach an air hose to this pedal here and by pressing this pedal uh, it will just uh, come down automatically. But I think this is uh, mostly useful for repetitive stuff and since I only do one piece at a time it, I usually don't bother hooking it up to the pneumatic system. This hydraulic cylinder has a pressure plate down here that uh, of course presses down and this one can be removed by loosening a set screw here and taken off like so. And I've decided that since I often uh, find myself pressing out small pins and stuff like that, I want to have some accessories such as uh, this one that I made a couple of days ago. And this it uh, looks like the original plate and it goes in like so and uh, down here is a piece of high-speed steel. This is actually an old uh, tap. Here's a bunch of uh, old broken taps and end mills that I actually saved for the purpose of uh, making uh, press tools and such things. I'm going to start the work here in the TLV lathe and this is a piece of uh, scrapyard mystery steel and uh, this was twice as long and I parted off uh, the first one so now I'm going to make uh, the second press tool from the part that's left here in the chuck. Right now I'm at uh, 70.8 millimeters and I'm aiming for uh, 68 millimeters which is uh, the diameter of the hydraulic cylinder on the press. And that's uh, 68 millimeters exactly. Now I'm going to turn this into the part that goes uh, into the hydraulic cylinder. And this has a diameter of 25 millimeters and it's uh, 20 millimeters long.
I turned this down to the right uh, length and diameter, I uh, didn't film all of it, but uh, what I need to do now is uh, cut the groove uh, for the set screw. And to do that I'm going to use this uh, parting blade. All the work we're going to do in the TLV lathe, the rest of it we'll do in the shovelin. Uh, this shovelin lathe has a W25 spindle nose and it has a thread out here that's used for uh, face plates and chuckles and stuff like that. Uh, I still haven't made a protection nut for this but that's one of my projects that are coming up and it also has a whole uh, taper in the spindle board that can be used for these W25 collets and I have an entire set of these and uh, this one is a 25 millimeter one so I'm going to put the part into here and put this into the spindle nose I'm going to center drill the hole. And now uh, time for a 5.5 millimeter uh, twist drill. Since I used a 5.5 millimeter drill, uh, this uh, 6 millimeter tap uh, won't fit in here. So now I'm bringing in a 6 millimeter uh, reamer to open the hole up. Now I'm going to wash out the hole and uh, get rid of the uh, cutting oil in here with some brake cleaner. And I'm going to wash the end of the tap with some brake cleaner, like so. And then
After this uh, dries up, I'm going to set it with some uh, Loctite in the hole here. Now I have a 6mm and a 10mm press tool and I'm pretty sure uh, I'm going to make a couple more of these in uh, other sizes. Well, that was all for today and uh, if this future machine is, doesn't keep me too busy, I'm going to upload some more videos soon. Bye bye!